Hello everybody and welcome to this instruction video. I'll be showing you how to make part one of the Schepjes Crochet Along 2015 Flight of Fancy. It's this flower pattern and we'll be using a lovely new yarn Linen Soft by Schepjes. I'll also be using a 4mm hook like in the pattern and I'll be taking you through the pattern step by step. I have permission from both Schepjes and the designer Annelies Baas to make this video for you. I want to thank you for watching and I hope this is a useful and instructive video for you. Round one, I'm going to start with a magic ring. And the tips and tricks of this crochet along, it's also shown exactly how to make a magic ring. We're going to follow by making 12 double crochets in the ring. First a chain one. This does not count as your first stitch. Now make 12 double crochets. One in the ring. Two, three. All the time holding your ring tight that you don't accidentally um, unravel it. That's one, two, three. Yes, this is four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Gonna close the ring by pulling on the end. Don't, you're not going to get it completely closed as you often see because the yarn is too thick for that. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch in the first double crochet, so in that stitch because the first chain one doesn't count. So in that first single double crochet make a slip stitch. That completes round number one. For round two, we're going to be making trebles and chain twos in between. We're going to start the first treble with a chain three. I'm just going to pull this loop slightly more closed. There we go. Chain three for the first treble. One, two, three, and a chain two because we're going to be making chain twos in between the trebles. Then on the next stitch, that's going to be that stitch, work a treble. Yeah. And a chain two. And this you're going to be doing in each and every stitch. Treble followed by a chain two. So that in total you're going to have 12 posts and chain twos in between. And a next treble and chain two. And on the next stitch, so I'm going to go make a fast forward here, go a bit quicker. This makes for repeat number 11, chain 2. At this point you should have 12 posts. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 posts and chain 2's in between. I'm going to close this round by joining with a slip stitch in the third of the 5 chain stitches. That's number three, that's this one here, enter into and close with a slip stitch. You can cut off your yarn and pull through. 
because in the next round we're going to add a new color. That's complete round two. Round three, we're going to join a new color and we're going to be doing that in any chain two space. I'm going to start in this space, the space just before the slip stitch join. The reason for this is that I'm going to, when I attach my yarn here, on the next round, I, on the next space, I can already take this piece of yarn with me. So I've got a new color yarn, I'm going to attach it with a slip stitch. So I'm going to hold it tight, enter into the space where I want to connect it to, and pick it up. Now you need to hold both threads tight that you don't accidentally pull everything out again. So I've got everything between my fingers. And then we're going to start with a chain one, which does not count as your first stitch. And then we're going to be making a double crochet, chain three, treble two together, chain three and double crochet all in the same space. I'm going to start with that double crochet in the space, then a chain three, that's one, two, three, and now we're going to be making a treble two together. So it starts with making a treble crochet, but only the first bit. So we're taking off two loops of yarn, then pick up another loop and start again a treble and take off two loops. Now you have three loops on your hook, take them all off in one go. That's your treble two together. Chain three, one, two, three, and now again a double crochet in this same space. And move everything up a bit. All the time I've been holding onto the um, end from the new color and I've been working over it in this space. And now make a double crochet. This here we're in essence going to be repeating on each and every space. So we're going to be making 12 of these petals. Move to the next space it's this one here, chain two space. And when I'm working there, I'm going to be working over these two threads. This is the end from round two and the start from round three. I'm going to show you the repeat once more. So in the next space, make a double crochet followed by a chain three. Now again, a treble two together. So I'm going to make a treble, but only take off the first two loops. Then start another treble and take off two loops. And now take them all off in one go. Chain three, one, two, three. And again a double crochet. All in the same chain two space. You can see how I've been covering, I'll show you at the back, I've been taking these two threads with me, and I've worked over them. So by doing so, I'm immediately working them, taking them into my work, so I don't have to work them in at the end, and then they're covered really well. This is the repeat. I'm going to do this for each of the 12 petals. I'll show you one more repeat, and then I'll make a jump in the video. So that's a double crochet in the next space, chain three, a treble two together, that's the first half of the treble, and make the first half of the second treble as well, three loops on my hook, take them all off, chain three, and then again a double crochet in the same space. Do these repeats on all chain two spaces. When you've made all 12 petals, you still need to 
close this round by joining with a slip stitch in this first double crochet right at the beginning. So not the chain one but the double crochet stitch. See there it is. Oops. That double crochet and close with a slip stitch. There we go. That completes for round three. Round four, you want to go to the top of each of these flower petals, specifically the top of the treble two together, so that stitch, that's the one we want to work in. So we're going to be making slip stitches over these first three chain stitches to move to the top. So in all three chain stitches, we're going to be making a slip stitch. So that means you're going to be making three of them. Sometimes they can be just a little hard to see or to get into. There we go. So that's first slip stitch, then the second. There we go. Two. And the third one. There we go. That brings us to the top here. Now we're going to be making a double crochet in this next stitch, that's that stitch there, the treble two together stitch. Make a double crochet on that stitch. I'm going to make chain four and then go to the next pedal. So one, two, three, four. To the next treble, two together, so it's the center one here, enter into and make a double crochet. You'll see your flower will really start to wobble at this point. You're going to fix that with blocking. Again, chain four, two, three, four, and make a double crochet again on top of the next treble two together. So it's this center stitch here. Make a double crochet. I'm gonna go like this all the way around, with a chain four followed by a double crochet in the top of the pedal, so in the treble two together stitch. So I'm almost round. Make the last double crochet here, then again a chain four, one, two, three, four, and we're going to close with a slip stitch in this first double crochet here, right at the top where we started. So make a double crochet, or sorry, a slip stitch in that double crochet. There we go cut off and pull through. There we go. That completes your first flower. Now you're going to be making eight of these in total. And you'll also notice that it's wobbling all over the place so you will really have to block it to get it nice and flat like this one. Also check your size, that they're all the same size, that you don't have one much larger or smaller than the other. And also this should be, before blocking, nine and a half centimeters. So also check your size here. If it's much bigger or much smaller, you may want to change your hook size. So this completes your first flower. I want to thank you for watching. 
and I hope to see you again for part 2 of our crochet along.